<laughs> you guys are all gonna think I'm such a fucking asshole after I put this video out. Hi everyone, my name is Thick Thick Thamus, and I'm a drummer. A bunch of you on my live stream last night said that I should react to this guy's videos. He's apparently a drum teacher who reacts to other drummers' videos. I've been told that these reaction videos are a great idea if you're thirsty to get viewers to your channel. Wow, there's a shit ton of reaction videos on this guy's channel. Somebody's thirsty! <laughs> From personal experience growing up, I've learned that, uh, you don't have to really know what you're talking about or be good to be a teacher at anything. But let's give him a chance, yeah? Hi, my name is Martin Jovanovic. I'm a drum teacher. <laughs> and today I'm going to be analyzing a drum playthrough video, Tragedy. Tragedy. All right, first of all, why the fuck are you watching drum videos at like 14 frames per second? The first thing that really grabbed my attention is his penis. Say something! React! Oh, that's a cool beat. That's a cool beat. Dude, this really bothers me with the slow frame rate. Holy shit. Since how little. Oh! Right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. Oh, he's gonna demonstrate it! Um. That's such a cool beat. I like it! Let's do this. Ooh! One thing that's also Why'd you stop it during the cool part, goddammit? Right. I've seen him many times uh. in life. And this guy's a fucking beast, dude. Look at him. He's like, I'm gonna rape you, drum set. Slamming it! Oh fuck yeah, dude! This dude was meant to play the drums. I'll tell you that. I can clearly see that he spent some time in the gym. <laughs> oh yeah. What the choke? Oh yeah, fucking blast it! Look at that. That's no, stop it! it! See, like he wants to keep the volume level at the high level. And that's the use. That's the reason why he's using a full wrist motion. Also, no, it's because he's not a pussy. Don't forget to comment below if you want a certain video to be next on this YouTube channel. And don't forget to go to my website and buy my drum lessons. All right, what else we got? I'm a drum teacher, <laughs> and in this video, I'm gonna be analyzing a drum, a live drum video of Behemoth's drummer Inferno. Look at the angle of his snare. Holy the shit! The thing that's really interesting is the snare angle and also the. <laughs> Because French grip, French grip, French grip. Holy shit, hold on. He's wearing Adidas. All day, I dream about sex. If you're using a French grip all the time. Oh, French. Very... So you heard it from him, folks. Avoid the stinky French grip. What are you going to say? What you can see here as well is when he's playing with the right hand on the snare drum. Yeah, you can see the stick coming out of his butthole. Fast. Also, I've seen a lot of comments of drummers who are critiquing him for not hitting that hard. That's because he plays fucking is... fast. But you know, he's using French grip, and, but he's not <laughs> used playing uh, mostly French grip with his left hand on the snare. And he uses him. How many times are we going to hear the phrase French grip today? Hey, how you doing? This is Italian grip. Okay, 16 note triplet double bass. This would be a 16 note triplet double bass. The song is at 270. This is like almost like 16th notes at. That is not PPM. 270. Oh, oh, <laughs> no mistakes at all. Great drumming. Oh, it's great! Better say he's great, it's fucking Inferno. Oh, dude. That's just a Nick Barker aggressive fuck you in your face, Phil. It's great! But in between when he's playing a fresh beat, um, the great thing is a fresh now beat. he would have time yo, it's to fresh, hit really yo. hard, but hit really hard during the fresh beats and the volume would drop down for the fresh beat. beat. His oh, sound thrash! Would a hard time mixed. Ligma. Yeah, switch to trick pedals for some time. Yuck! Uh, Alright, what else we got? My name is Martin Ivanovich. I'm a drum teacher. <laughs> Dude, again, what's with watching videos at fucking 14 frames per second? You cannot watch drum videos at low frame rates. There's too much motion blur and it looks like shit. Pedals and pedal settings for a bit. Oh. He's using Axis A longboards. Oh! The VDL is around the middle a bit to the front position. Place oh. it around the middle to yeah. the front position. Yeah. Look at that mustache. Looks like fucking... Sanchez. <laughs> set up for Fuck yeah, double ride. Yeah, buddy. Here you can see how he's using his two right symbols. Oh, he's gonna comment on it. I never like to use two right symbols because I was always too lazy to bring two right symbols because they're heavy. That's a like great excuse. That's a great excuse. Situation and was too lazy to bring. Not! I often don't like it that much when drummers start using two right symbols. It's that they are just playing patterns that they could also easily play with one right symbol. And I think you're missing the point, dude. Uh, 
um, right here you can see that he's uh, pushing his bass drum beater against his bass drum head. Are you sure? I want to see that again. Um, right here you can see that he's uh, pushing his bass drum beater against his bass drum head. That's just where you fucking stopped it! Yeah, don't do that. If you're trying to play like a machine, you want to have consistency, not you want sex. He's playing the back beat on two and four with the left hand. One, two. Yeah, that's a regular rock beat. Three, four, one, two. Huh. Just lightly touch it. It's like when you touch your dick against somebody's. All right, I gotta pee. He starts blasting and you fucking stop it! Number one is, he got tired with his fingers and started <laughs> using his wrist. I think the reason is the second one, and which is that he filmed this whole playthrough video a couple of times. Ah, oh, don't he fucking say that! <laughs> I want to see that fell again. <laughs> <laughs> the way he does the Portnoy fills with his head cocked back and his eyes closed, like... That's like the... I love you, Alex. You're fucking awesome. A nice quad fill. Um, he, quad fill? It's called the Portnoy, portnoy bitch! Position. Who's next? Dominator from Dark Funeral. Hi, my name is Martin Ivanovich. I'm a drum teacher. Oh! Dude, right off the bat, this guy fucking kicks ass. Holy shit. Did you hear those tom fills? He's hitting those hard. Hold on. Play it again. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. Oh, it's so clean, too. He added double bass to it. Oh, my God. And he's just sitting there. Not... Fuck yeah, dude. Now we know why they call this guy Dominator. I've never seen a, I've never seen a clip of this guy playing before. Holy shit. That's good stuff. Um, he's using an American grip. American grip. American grip means... American grip, ranch grip, German grip, German grip, German grip. This guy must really know what he's talking about. American grip. Bill Nye, the science guy. Let's continue. Plus. <laughs> Dude, I love it when he has the double bass underneath, and it's so fucking clean. This guy is a dominator. And he's using Zildjian cymbals, which is another fuck yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. And stop Let's it during the blast beat. beat for a bit. Again! <laughs> Let's talk about his foot technique for a bit. What do you mean talk about his foot technique? You can't even see his fucking feet. A lot of hip flexor muscle. Oh, so there's the hip flexor I was warned about. The contraction from the hip flexors. A lot of calf <laughs> muscles. Calf muscle contraction at all. Most calf hip muscle. Flexors. What the fuck? Right, George from Nile. Hi, my name is Martin Jovanovic. I'm a drum teacher. And in this video, I'm going to be reacting to and analyzing a live drum cam video. Of course it's live again or else you wouldn't be able to make money on the video now, would you? Oh my god. Why would you react to this video? It sounds like shit! Are you kidding me, dude? You can see here he's using Axis A longboards, right? No now. shit! It works out as well. Dude, you can't even fucking hear anything. It just sounds like shit. Some kind of French grip, American grip, something <laughs> between that. The one foot god. Yeah, you know what? I, I, I can't watch any more of this one. It just sounds like shit, dude. Oh, Adidas again. He's been dreaming about sex! Fuck that shit up! American grip, so not French. Let's talk about his pedal settings and his gear a bit. He's one yeah, if you're gonna claim that you can see what settings he's using, I can see his VDL around the middle, but that's all I can see. So if you say anything else, you're full of shit. VDL is around the middle. Yep. He's using a medium to high spring tension. How the fuck can you see that? <laughs> one thing that's really awesome <laughs> is his <laughs> play. That's fucking clean, dude. Oh yeah, gravity blast. Yeah. Now he's using the gravity blast with his Oh really? On the snare drum. I thought that was called My name is Martin Ivanovich. I'm a drum teacher. <laughs> this video. I love this video of Francesco. Let me just start out by saying that Francesco, holy shit, he was only playing drums for like less than 10 years when he started doing this shit. So holy crap. That's not fair. What? Wait, can this guy even actually play the drums? Let's check it out. In my six years with Belfigur, I <laughs> French grip every second bar. Oh, I'm talking about French grip! Holy fucking shit, dude! Be wow. Alright, no, he's good. Holy shit. 
All right, let's react to your video, pal. You're fucking blasting on the rim of the drum. In all seriousness, no, that's that's a fucking fast blast beat, and I won't even attempt to go that fast. So kudos to you. But still, the fact that you're doing it, that, that's 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 awesome. Oh yeah, whammy dive. Oh yeah. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. <laughs> that's so fast. When you're using the Hiltotonic, you get one big advantage, which is it's easier to play for long periods of time at higher tempos. You oh, you don't say! Record. Just upload live videos of drummers drumming. It's like almost as bad as people who take Ninja's Fortnite clips and then put them on their own YouTube channel and like, Oh, look at Ninja's highlights! I'm gonna get a million fucking views from somebody else's content now! You fucking pieces of shit. American grip? Still American grip? Oh, hold on, I gotta scratch my balls. It's not possible to play, for example, a 270 BPM, 60 notes, and get a really big beta swing for, for example, 90 degrees beta swing out of that motion. Oh, very not good, possible. very good. So you have to shorten the stroke at higher tempos. I'll shorten your stroke. And hip flex up. For example, <laughs> nice. This is, and that's why I don't use it. I don't open, I open, I oh, great, another video that sounds like shit. <laughs> Zoom in on his butt. Wow, look at that thigh gap in between Tom 2 and Tom 3. And wow, look at the angle of his snare. Holy shit. That probably works really well for rim shots. All right, let's talk about his drum setup for a bit. Let's start with the snare drum in this case. The, the angle? snare drum is angled away from him, <laughs> so it's not angled. Rim job. So I get <laughs> way more rebound. Boing. Which <laughs> Holy shit, dude. I forgot what a fucking machine right, Alex is. Oh, yeah. Fucking Dave Lombardo. Slayer! Actually, I have to stop right away. Why? Sex. Playing in such a stadium is every drummer's dream out there. Almost every drummer's dream out there. Yep. But the bad thing is that 99.9999% of us will never get the chance to play in a stadium like that. Wow, that's very encouraging. I wonder if he uses French grip or American grip or German grip or cavity grip. Is that you break a lot of drum heads that way. Oh. But one thing that Dave Lombardo does, his, drum, his grip is uh, somewhere between French grip and American <laughs> grip. Like that. German grip, German grip, French grip. He is sitting really low, holy shit. He's really working those hip flexors. Ooh, he's leading with his left in hand. Example, you could see his hand technique really well, so he's using an American grip, so in between French and German grip, something like that. French onion yeah, poop. A lot of the strokes are generated by his calf muscles, but it's a caustic contract. Strokes generated by the calf. There's the fucking classic Lombardo fill. Next. Chris Turner, drummer of Ocean's 8 Alaska. Playing I've never even heard of this band. What is this, a fucking global warming band or something? Let's get it on. <laughs> Let's get it on. Wow, look at the cymbal angle of his left crash. Holy shit. He can get away with that, I guess, because it's so low. He's sitting really high up and everything's placed really low. Holy crap, the snare is lower than his dick. This kid's fucking tight. I've never even heard of this band, and this drummer's fucking great, dude. He's not wearing shoes, so one of the few drummers that's left who's playing just with socks. And he's not... Sock fail! He's mainly using his hip flexors. <laughs> I must have heard the words hip flexors and French grip like a hundred times already this morning. Holy shit. Hip flexors. <laughs> Again! Activate your hip flexors in comparison to all coming from the hip flexors. All oh right, my god. Continue. Damn. This kid's fucking good. Using French grip with right and left hand all the time. In front, but his head is down, facing down like that. Oh so my god, hold on, hold on, hold on. You can, you can, front, you can listen to the microphone on his fucking beard hairs, hold on. Yeah, are looking down like that. <laughs> looking in front, but his head is down, facing down like that. So Sounds grip. like a fucking candy bar wrapper in there. Use your hip flexors. Oh yeah, gent it up. Position. All right, we got two more here. All right. Hey, Paul. I'm going to drum of Cannibal Corpse playing their classic Hammer Smashed Face. Oh, fuck yeah, Before dude. Out, I want to give a big shout out to Vladislav from Charchi Kopito for sending me a new pair of double pedals. Holy shit. They sent him a pair just for this? It's important to mention that I'm not an official endorser. See that, folks? All you have to do is make fucking reaction videos on YouTube and you can get shit for free. Holy fucking ball sacks. That's kind of fucked up. Fuck yeah, dude. 
All right, now he's talking about how he switches from the corpse blast to a regular hammer blast. Let's take a look at this. Corpse blast, alternating singles, and now he switches to the hammer blast. Yeah, I don't think he did that on purpose, buddy. Shit, I just realized he's not even wearing socks. He's not even wearing socks! Barefoot, Fael! You rewind it a bit, yeah. then you can see it in detail. Yeah. Here you can see it a little bit better. Yeah. I will say that if you do not use bass drum triggers, I will recommend all the time resting your beater against the head. That's what I always used to do before using triggers, but then once you start using triggers, you can't really rest it against the head. You're going to get a lot of false triggering and sex. Hip flexors and calf muscles. All right, last one, Aaron Kitcher, Infinite Hello, Annihilator. Welcome. Let's get it on. Sex. <laughs> oh man, when you program your whole album using Superior Drummer and then you get to try to replicate it live in a video, and uh, yeah. Let's talk about his pedals for a bit. He's using Axis A longboards. VDL is all the way to the front. He's How can you even fucking see that, dude? I can't. I can't even see that. Based on of hip flexors and calf muscles from my hip flexors. I would love to know if I use my calf flexors or not. I'm pretty sure you can see his feet not even keeping up with the audio that you're listening to. It's really hard to tell though because he's watching the video at fucking 15 frames a second again. This song is called Decapitation Fornication, and the original <laughs> YouTube URL can be found. Uh, the big difference between Mike Mangini and Aaron is that Mike Mangini holds the stick like that. And Mike Mangini doesn't program his fucking drum parts. But Mike Mangini is, is not, not fake. <laughs> <laughs> Look at his fucking. <laughs> what is that? Yes. <laughs> Dude, it's just so unrealistic. It's fucking funny. Slowed it down out to 50%. Playing double bass, he starts out with playing regular single strokes, right, left, right, left. But after a couple of bars, his feet switch to unison strokes, so you can see the beaters hitting at the exact same time. That means he... Are you fucking kidding me right now, dude? If you're trying to play single stroke double bass and all of a sudden your feet start hitting at the same time, that means slow the fuck down. Listen to Black Sabbath, learn how to play drums, bitch. The audio you can hear perfectly tight 16 notes, but you can see underneath that he's struggling with his feet. I'm convinced that he's able to play that fast. I'm but not. You can clearly see that there was a lot of editing going on after he recorded that video. <laughs> oh, dude. And the look on his face, he's just like, yeah, I'm fucking great. Again, that's incredibly fast. I bet this was done in like fucking like 15 takes. He's not even doing the fucking double bass, he's doing triplets instead. Uh, chain driven pedal this time, but he's still able How to can you even see what fucking pedal he's using? Are you kidding me? You can't hear the kicks that well in this video, but you can see and kind of hear that he's able to play this left. I'm convinced that Aaron is able the, the recording sounds like this And he's just doing Yeah, no edited big time edited big time edited big time All right, so that's gonna do it for my reaction my overall impression of Martin is he knows what he's talking about He is not just one of those drum teachers who says he's a drum teacher just to uh Ooh. And this concludes our broadcast day. Click. I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time. Hopefully not. Hopefully I just fucking die.